Greetings and salutations, everyone. So, quick update on what's been going on here. Uh, my laptop has been acting a little bit funny here. Uh, like, incredibly long uh, startup times if I do, like, resets or shutdowns. That's been, been not a fun day there. So, what I did was moved some of the stuff off of uh, its actual hard drive onto my backup drives and whatnot in case... In case the laptop decides to completely quit on me on some point, I still have some of the data that's important that's, that'll be difficult to replace. Uh, most of this has transitioned pretty well, if I'm being honest. Uh, unfortunately, one of the things that has not worked out well in my favor is my save data for Mega Man Zero Collection. It's, it's all gone. That is, I'm like, oh, Nelly. Cause it's it's got it has some it has a different writing path and whatnot. So what I'm thinking of doing, let me actually grab the controller here. Let me just what I'm thinking of doing is in my spare time I'm gonna re replay the entire game, but through easy scenario. Cause we're so close to the end of the game, and it's either like redo the like redo Mega Man Zero Four and do another two hours. Or possibly just do three hours and just get through where I was where I was at with which I think was just before the uh, the refights uh, scene as it were but yeah so I'll go through that easy scenario is very beginner friendly like it's it's not not a difficult one but it only has one save file so essentially only one person can play easy scenario at a time or restart the whole thing so and you'll see it's there'll be there's gonna be quite a difference but I'm gonna do that in my spare time and the next week we'll go and do the very last of Mega Man Zero Four it's unfortunate that I couldn't that I couldn't do it and I'm like I'm like it was like Mega Man Zero Four is definitely my most difficult game of the Zero Collection to work with and I'm like, I really don't want to do that all over again. Like, not a, not a particularly big fan of that. So, but that's that's just a little update. At least everything else pretty much transitioned smoothly to its new space. Just for whatever reason, my DS emulator didn't quite work. And this wasn't the only game that got affected. A couple other games somehow. Just a lot of their save data is missing. So... What can you do, though? What can you do? Well, at the very least, there's still the other videos I have, at least, and next week, we'll wrap this whole project up. But, thank you for watching, and we will continue this next time. Take care, everyone.